option. Is this working? Okay. Um, it really is uh, good to be with you all here this morning. Um, and I have just some uh, formal comments that I'll make. Uh, and uh, then we'll open up for questions, I think. Right? Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really pleased to be with you here today and uh, glad to see this uh, conference taking place. Um, I think uh, it's to, um, to discuss a very important issue, uh, which is keeping everyone and, more importantly, keeping children safe in our rapidly changing mobile world. Um, as was mentioned, I'm the president and CEO of the Trade Association, represents all the companies in the wireless uh, phone business and uh, we represent the carriers as well as the suppliers and manufacturers and everybody. Um, I say our mobile world because that's exactly what it is. It's ours to customize phones and wireless services, ours to plug into social networks, and ours to get the apps and content that we want, where we want it, and when we want it. The wireless industry has created countless innovations to enhance the way we work, play, and live. Wireless technology is truly enriching our lives. It's hard to imagine life without mobile technology. Today I'm here to let you know that even in this quickly changing mobile world, uh, the wireless industry understands the importance of a safe mobile environment. We have listened, we've learned, and now we're leading. We want to be part of the solution to issues like bullying, pornography, and commercializing sex. During my tenure in Congress and now as a member of the private sector, I've always believed that the way to find realistic working solutions is through a constructive dialogue between public and private organizations. Rick and others will remember that one of the first things I did after joining CTIA in 2004 was to sit down with people just dedicated to protecting youth and families, and today's event is a perfect example of how that one meeting can translate into real action. In this room are some of the best minds from the industry and nonprofit and faith communities. Uh, we share a dedication to working together to ensure our children are kept safe and are responsible users of the technology. And for this reason, we're proud to be part of today's event. CTIA and our member companies recognize the vital role that we play in providing consumers with useful information and tools. On our own accord, the wireless industry has taken the lead on many initiatives to ensure children are kept safe. For example, many of our member companies have adopted CTI's content classification guidelines. We've set an industry-wide standard for the types of videos, games, and music offered on wireless devices uh, and services. And soon, CTI will unveil a new system to rate apps, applications, with, an almost, with almost a million apps for 11 different operating systems. We want to provide useful information to help parents know what is appropriate for their kids to download. On behalf of the wireless industry, CTI has also taken this successful proactive model and extended it beyond content classification to location-based services and mobile financial services. These are just a few of the initiatives that the wireless industry is working on to ensure all our customers have the type of content and privacy protections that we all expect in this digital era. As more technology innovations were created in the wireless ecosystem, we made a strategic decision to evaluate what worked and what did not work when it came to consumer protections. We reviewed how the commercial internet developed from a patchwork of fits and starts. As we learned from the examples of other industries, we quickly became students of history, and there was no better lesson than what we all experienced in the 90s when it came to using the difficult V-chip parental controls for television. Even before wireless became all things that it is today, we took steps to make sure we addressed issues of pornography and inappropriate use from the beginning. Our goal was clear. Our solution was premised on a simple idea. Parents must have choice and control over the mobile content they and their children receive directly from our member companies. With our clear choice and control goal in mind, we embarked on an initiative to better protect children. CTIA formed the Wireless Industry Child Safety Task Force. The specific goal of this task force is to monitor and recommend solutions that will de help deter the scourge, that is child pornography, on wireless networks. And we're proud to include the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children as a valued partner in this particular effort. CTI and our member wireless companies also recognize the vital role we play in, pr in providing consumers, specifically parents, with the information and tools they need to protect children from an increasingly complex world. 
That's why you'll find p uh, family plans and wireless products that let parents set the rules. For, exa for example, wireless carriers offer content filters so that parents and caregivers can set age-appropriate content for their children to access, including restrictions on all pornography, apps, music, games, and mobile websites. Other parental control features let parents decide when and how a child sends or receives calls and text messages. These are just some of the many tools being offered today, and I encourage each of you to stop by the Wireless Foundation booth outside, where we have information on all of these programs and initiatives. The wireless industry appreciates the importance of these issues and strives to not just be a good corporate citizen, but also a major part of the solution. But we know that we can't do it all alone. Every parent in this room knows it's impossible to be with our children around the clock. That's why education has to be part of the solution, too. Last year, CTI announced its Be Smart, Be Fair, Be Safe Responsible Wireless Use campaign. We developed this program after working with our members, the Wireless Foundation, educators, policymakers, parents, and children. We believe this Be Smart program is a valuable, responsible, a valuable and responsible resource for adults and teens to learn more about the responsible wireless behavior. We all enjoy the privacy and freedom that cell phones provide, but some kids are using their phones for inappropriate things like sexting. We need to teach our kids that cell phones are great tools, and we need to ensure there are resources to help our kids learn the danger of inappropriate behavior, such as sending sexualized photos. While sexting can create embarrassing situations, more importantly, these photos may be illegal or fall into hands of sexual predators. I encourage you to take a few minutes to visit our website at www.bsmartwireless.com. That's www.bsmartwireless.com. Whether you're a parent or policymaker, the site offers sample family rules, teacher lesson plans, and the latest research and surveys to help you address issues like sexting, cyberbullying, privacy, and sexual predators with your children. Even though the, this campaign launched only one year ago, we've had tremendous success educating everyone to be smart, safe, and responsible wireless users. Over 500 newspapers, magazines, and radio stations around the country have educated over 12 million of their viewers and listeners about this important campaign. We have also partnered with state attorneys general and online safety organizations across the country. We know our work has just begun, so we will continue to educate parents and consumers about the great information that the Be Smart website offers. I hope you'll join us in telling others about it as well. CTIA, the Wireless Foundation, has been an, an integral player in keeping kids safe and protecting life via the Wireless Amber Alert program. This program encourages and provides an opportunity for the over 300 million wireless subscribers to aid in the search for abducted children. Since 2005, the Wireless Foundation has also produced and distributed a Get Wise About Wireless curriculum to more than 6 million middle school students. That, that's work, uh, that work's been done in conjunction with the ConnectSafely.org, uh, the National Crime Prevention Council, and the Weekly Reader Corporation. Get Wise About Wireless provides information for teachers, for students, and their families on cyberbullying, handling inappropriate or anonymous messages, and other important wireless safety tips. Another amazingly successful program that I'm very proud of is the Text for Baby, a free service that sends text messages to women and pregnant or new mothers. Each text has information and reminders to improve the health of pregnant women and their children. Text for Baby is run by the National Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies Coalition and a public-private partnership of Voxiva. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the White House, the Wireless Foundation, and a host of other companies and stakeholders are involved. It's heartbreaking that the U.S. Uh, ranks 30th in the world in infant mortality rates. With Mother's Day just around the corner, you can help by telling expecting or new moms to sign up. All they need to do is text the word BABY, B-A-B-Y, to 511411. It's only been a year since Text for Baby launched but already more than 155,000 moms-to-be have signed up. We hope to reach 1 million women by the end of 2012, and with your help, we can achieve this goal. All of these examples illustrate the wireless industry's commitment to providing parents and children with valuable tools and information 
about safe wireless use and behavior. But the wireless industry is so much more. Wireless is a beacon of innovation that is improving our lives every day. The growth in wireless has been staggering. In just 25 years, we've transformed wireless from analog to digital, from the brick cell phone to the multipurpose smartphone, and now to the broadband tablet. And, in, and consider the growth of text messaging and mobile apps in just the last few years, innovations that have given birth to programs like Text for Baby. This amazing sense of innovation is also triggering breakthroughs in other important areas like education, healthcare, accessibility, and energy. When you look at the energy sector, we see the incredible opportunity offered by smart grid programs that use wireless to make aging electrical system more efficient. These programs are sprouting all over the country. And wireless is bringing educational opportunities to students in rural areas. While digital textbooks and wireless curriculums are preparing our children and teens for a 21st century workforce. Wireless is also innovating healthcare in the US. There are medical apps to help us manage our personal health and new devices and services that help us treat chronic illness without traveling to a doctor or hospital. In addition, people with disabilities are benefiting from this innovative spirit as mainstream devices and more features for people with disabilities, particularly the deaf and blind consumers. As a representative of the wireless industry, I know that wireless is the way that we'll, we will win the future. As a father of four and grandfather of four more, I understand that the future must include responsible choices that respect the safety and security of our children and families. By taking the responsible steps early and often, the wireless industry has shown and will maintain a strong commitment to protecting our children and families. And it's through that, this commitment that wireless will continue to be that beacon of innovation. On behalf of the wireless industry, we appreciate your support and interest in ensuring children are kept safe in an ever-changing ever wireless world. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.